Well, you guys got another video here for you how to tell your hard drive is failing or dying in this one we're going to be taking a look at how to troubleshoot your hard drive and diagnose it and find out whether it is actually failing so first off all hard drives and ssds fail it's just a matter of when no matter what manufacturer name they are whether they're samsung whether they're uh, western digital uh, seagate any type of drive any manufacturer a data it really doesn't matter they will all fail at some point now an ssd will have a certain amount of write cycles you can do to that drive also portable mechanical hard drives like these ones will have a life cycle to them a usb flash drives also so it's important that you keep regular backups because these will not last forever now how long do they last well it's just a matter of time when it could be six months it could be five years could be 10 years no one knows and uh, what you need to do is check uh, your drive's health status on a regular basis so let's take a look at some of the hard drive killers and what can actually cause hard drives to die so these are the three hard drive killers that I've put up, dropping or impact trauma, heat, overheating can cause the drive to uh, die, and also time, over the course of time the drive will die naturally. So let's take a look at some of the hard disk failure signs that you could be uh, having with your computer. So basically what will happen is you will start getting freezing, the computer will start freezing up, and also you will have uh, frequent freezes and crashing is another thing the computer may start crashing and this is due to a bad hard drive you also may start getting some error codes popping up on the screen which are related to hard drive issues and also blue screen of death which is another thing which will crash the system you'll get a blue screen and it will be related to a hard drive non-booting a PC is another sign of a bad drive slow data transfers or the computer just slowing right down when you're trying to move files around uh, this is another common sign and also odd noises coming from the hard drive clicking noises and things like that another thing is bad sectors when you do a check on the drive you may find that the drive has got bad sectors and this is a sign that the drive is starting to fail you want to start thinking at that stage to get your data off and replace your drive another thing is corrupt files keep getting corrupt files on your hard drive this is normally a sign of a bad drive so if you're getting any of these sort of uh, symptoms happening with your computer then it's probably drive related and you'll need to test the drive to make sure the drive is fully functional and working correctly so what you're going to do here is test and diagnose and troubleshoot problems with your drive and you can do that via uh, a USB flash drive if your PC is not bootable you can use a USB flash drive to boot to with your tools on it and test the drive via that method and this is your USB flash drive here you will need to create some sort of bootable media to boot to and test the drives in there you can also test them at the desktop as well or you can take the drive out and test them at the desktop of a working computer and to attach the uh, drive that way with a cable. So here we are with Hiron's Boot CD PE and you can use something like this that does have some sort of hard drive diagnostic software built into it. Now there is no pirated software inside here so it's safe to use and it's legal to use. You're allowed to use this as a testing sort of software. You can create your own ones as well. I've created many videos on how to create these yourself. They're very easy to build and it should have plenty of software inside here to test your drive. Now, this is great if you can't boot up into Windows and you want to test a drive and you've only got one computer, you can use this method. But if you do have computers, it's best to remove the drives and test them in another way. So here we have Rufus. This is another free piece of software you can download and use to create your bootable media. I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So just download your software of choice. Then open up your Rufus software. This is the portable version. You can see I've got the device here, which is my USB flash drive. And I've also got the ISO, which I'm going to now select. And make sure you have got the right device uh, selected there. I'm going to go ahead and select my ISO image. And then click Open here. And once we've done this, this will then be ready to create our bootable USB flash drive. Now, partition schemes, well, if you've got a newer computer, you can use GPT. If you've got an older PC, you can use MBR. Uh, but either one, you should still be able to boot to that device and uh, it should be fine. But I'm going to use GPT here 
and uh, we're also going to set this file system to NTFS and then we're just going to ready this up and then click start and after we've done that we should be pretty much ready to go you can see UEFI non CSM is for GPT and that's what I've chosen here so let's just click start and uh, it will erase the data on that USB flash drive so if you've got data on there that you want to keep then stop doing this right now because otherwise it will be wiped and you will lose that data so let's go ahead and start to create our bootable USB flash drive here it doesn't take that long you can see it's pretty quick now it does sort of hang at this stage a little bit so just be patient it is working away so once it's finished you should see this here and then click close and then we can now boot up to there if we wanted to but I just wanted to show you crystal disk because crystal disk is a useful piece of software which will tell you uh, about the smart information of your drive you can download this for free and it will tell you drive or hard drives mechanical drives and SSD whether it's um, uh, 40 it'll tell you the total host writes total host reads and it will also tell you the power on count which is uh, how many times you've powered the computer on and also power on hours how many hours it's been powered on whether you leave it on 24 hours a day it's in it will register here and it will tell you it tells you the temperature and it also gives you a bunch of other useful information inside here which is your uh, power cycles and you've also got your power on hours here and there's a bunch of other information here as well which is very useful and it normally gives you an idea of what's going on with the drive this first place you should be starting is the smart readout and this is what you're doing here so you can see here we've also got data units read data units written and there's also some other areas of interest here as well which you can take a look at critical warnings and uh, stuff like that so this is for my solid state drive it also works with mechanical drives as well and that is the smart readout now if you're fortunate enough to have a Samsung solid state drive or NVMe drive you can use the Samsung magician uh, type of software here which tells you the drive is in good health hopefully if it's bad it will say bad here temperatures it gives you the temperature readouts and you've also got a bunch of other uh, stuff here which you can use on the uh, Samsung magician software now obviously Samsung's have got the best software out there on the market for their SSDs there is other software uh, manufacturers that create software for their solid state drives but it's nowhere near as intuitive as uh, this type of software so for instance a data does have their own software it's not that great to be honest with you their drives are pretty good but their software is not that great and you can use crystal disk if that is the case you can also do performance benchmarks and diagnostic scans and other stuff with the built-in software for the Samsung uh, drive so if you've got this uh, software with your drive then you can use this to troubleshoot and diagnose issues there so first sort of port of a call you should sort of be looking at to see what the information is giving you back normally it's the first sign of trouble when you start getting a bad smart readout you can also use um, Western Digital's uh, software as well which allows you to test mechanical drives and this will do sector by sector testing as well and you can just test this uh, mechanical drives uh, with this software download it and zip it and then basically you can run it from the desktop you can also run this via the uh, WinPE which I'll show you in a second so let me just quickly open this up and install it and I'll show you the whole process and also I will show you the non bootable PC uh, process as well so just uh, accept their terms and conditions and go next and now you will see all the drives that are listed here now you will notice there is no smart data uh, status available for the NVMe Samsung drive or the SanDisk Ultra that's my USB flash drive and the reason why is because obviously this is an older piece of software which was designed for mechanical drives you can see here but it does find my mechanical drive here and it's saying the smart status has been passed you can also run tests here as well and you can view the smart data uh, for that drive as well which is very useful and gives you all the same useful information that you would get with S Samsung Magician or Crystal Disk Info so as you can see here very useful and this is a great place to start because there's any sort of errors with the drive it will start showing up here now of course uh, you can view you can't view the smart on the other ones as I've said here because it's not designed to do that and this software has been around for a while but you can run tests on all your mechanical drives you can use the quick test 
extended test you can go ahead and do all your testing here and this will tell you whether the drive is bad as well so I'm just going to do a quick test here and this will do a quick smart test it's already done one it's telling me the smart status has been passed but you can run a, an additional test here if you wanted to just to be sure that everything is okay so just run this test and let it run through this is only a quick one so it shouldn't take too long but if you want a more sector by sector test which is a much more in-depth test you can also do that but it does take time you can see here I've got the green tick mark which I already knew and if you want to do the extended one you can also do that you can view the test results here as well by clicking on this and it will show you the test results of what you've just run it gives you the firmware number also the capacity the smart status and also some other information there now there's quite a few other software you can use to test hard drives hard disk sentinel is one of them i'm not going to list them all here there's plenty of them out there which if you've watched my videos for a number of years you can see uh, the sort of software you can use to test hard drives this is paid software but you can see here it does give you the smart readout uh, on the free version but you will have to pay for it if you want to do surface scanning of the drive and you can use uh, mini tools partition wizard which does have a surface scanner in there for free on their free version which you can use if you don't want to do uh, pay for this sort of software you can use a free option out there as well and there's other versions of software out there which you can use for free which will allow you to test and do a surface uh, test of the drive for free like uh, mini tools partition uh, wizard allow you to do that for free there's other software out there as well so you can see here this does give you some useful information as well about your drive you've got disk performance it gives you some information there and you've also got some other bits and pieces on here so it's quite a useful software and if you do this quite regular and you do this quite a lot then you may want to consider buying the software as well if this is the sort of thing you like now there's other options out there so i'm not promoting this this is not a promoted video for this particular software you can see here the short self test and also extended self test random self test or seek test and also surface test there's a bunch of tests inside here which you need to pay for before you can run but it's a very good piece of software for that type of testing but there is other ones out there on the market that do a similar job as this now you can also do checks inside windows 10 if you go to where your drive is you can right click on your drive if you can get to the desktop you can right click on the drive and go to properties and once you go to properties this will open up a little box here you can go inside here and you can go to tools you'll see uh, error checking tools which are laid to check the drive for errors and s some sort of bad sectors and stuff like that and this is another quick and useful way of testing the drive to see if the drive is bad now sometimes uh, you will have uh, issues with the drive which can be repaired and fixed and sometimes if it's hardware it will show up here as well so it's always useful to know uh, how to do this you can click for more details here and it will take you here and show you the results of that check disk bad sectors and stuff like that will be listed on here as well as you can see the drives in perfectly working order so let me go ahead and close that off as well and what we're going to do is open up command prompt and again you can run checks inside command prompt as well you can run your chk dsk and then you can put your forward slash f and forward slash r you can also do c colon space forward slash r space forward slash f and that will scan the c drive you can change the letter to whatever drive you want to do you can do forward slash f or you can just do check disk on its own or you can do a check disk uh, space forward slash question mark uh, uh, space question mark don't work you have to do forward slash question mark and this will give you all the commands and switches that you can use uh, for the check this part so you can use this and this should be very useful to you to understand how it all works so very very useful and this will normally tell you whether the drive is starting to go bad as well and uh, it's so it's a pretty good uh, way of checking the drive okay so let's now boot up to our usb flash drive and try it from there and i'll show you how to boot to the hirons win pe from a usb flash drive so you can see here is our computer i've got the usb flash drive here and i'm just going to plug this into the computer and then we need to power on the computer 
and then change the boot order to boot to that uh, USB flash drive and that will then load up our um, Hiren's WinPE and that's what we're going to do here. So let's uh, go ahead and push the start button. You can see now I was tapping F12 here and this will give me my boot menu. Yours might be different so you have to check with your motherboard manufacturer to find out which one that is. You can normally get that at the post screen. I'm going to select my USB flash drive here and press enter on the keyboard and this will then load up our USB flash drive. You can see it's now booting to my USB flash drive and this isn't Windows operating system booting up here from the computer. This is the actual WinPE which has been loaded onto our um, USB flash drive there. So that's what we've loaded up here and it's all been installed onto this USB flash drive. So from here we can now run some tests. Now this Hirens PE does come with some uh, diagnostic and troubleshooting tools for hard drives which you can use to troubleshoot and diagnose issues with your hard drive. You can do surface scanning and testing on that drive with some of the software that are installed on the actual WinPE itself and it's free to use and again it's, uh, it's pretty handy if you wanted to check some stuff here. Now you may have trouble reading the smart because obviously uh, it has trouble doing that via this method so it's not advisable to check your drive this way if it's not booting at all and it's a hard drive issue then you may want to remove the drive and test it on another computer by using a cable to plug it into one of those uh, SATA to uh, USB is good enough to test the drive you can use one of those again uh, you can see here I'm just going to open up another piece of software and run some checks there you can do it by this method if the PC is not bootable it's not always advisable to do it this way but you can uh, do it it can be checked uh, but it's best to try and check the drive when you can get hold of the smart information and that normally gives you quite a bit of information about the drive itself. Now I'm not going to repeat the whole process because I've done a lot of this and you've already seen it so I'm just going to cut this short from here but you can use the uh, Hirens PE to do some of that diagnosing and testing and troubleshooting of drives via that method. So some of the ways you see me doing it at the desktop you can do via the USB flash drive method with the WinPE. It allows you to use software like the Western Digital software and there's a bunch of other things you can do like command prompts and check uh, the check disk from there and things like that. You can run some software via the USB flash drive which is quite useful sometimes if uh, you've got only one system there and you're on site and you just want to quickly check the drive you can do as well. But other than that, that's going to be about it. There's some main five key areas you want to test really for when you're testing drives. And that will be basically, like I told you, freezing, blue screen, slowing down of the computer, your corruption of data, and also uh, bad sectors on the drive. And also strange sounds coming out of the drive, clicking noises, things like that. And also checking the smart data as well. And checking the drive sector by sector is another thing which you can do surface scanning of the drive as well. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you found this video useful. I've seen questions coming up on my Discord server about hard drives, and some people just don't know how to check them, so I thought I'd make a video showing you how to do it. It's very straightforward and easy to do, and it's one of the key things that you need to start doing because sometimes drives do go bad, and you do get some strange happenings when a drive is starting to go bad. Anyway, with that said, I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I shall see you again after the Christmas period for more videos. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.